It is that time. It's weather for Weather Geeks time. It is our daily deep dive into the weather for Northeast Ohio and Western PA, past, present, and future weather included. Let's get right to it this evening. It's been a pretty dry start to the month of July. Now, these are the numbers, of course, at the Youngstown Warren Airport in Vienna. It's been a dry week. And we've only had six uh, one hundredths of an inch worth of, uh, or six tenths of an inch, I should say. Uh, this number, I miscalculated over here. That should be. Uh, 0.6, not 0 0.06, uh, but still that's pretty dry. Uh, we've only had six tenths of an inch worth of rain at the at the airport so far this month. Now, you know, at this time of the year, I often say your mileage can vary. You know, with the scattered nature of thunderstorms during the, the warm part of the year, rainfall totals can vary across the region. We've certainly had a little more rain than this in parts of Mercer County so far this month, but it's been pretty dry from around I-80 on south through Mahoning and Columbiana counties uh, through roughly the first half of July. We'll hit the halfway mark this weekend. I think we'll see a few raindrops scattered about the region before the weekend is through. But yeah, we've got another dry day coming up tomorrow. Dry, sunny days, nothing all that unusual for this time of the year. We're in our, our uh, sunniest part of the year, July and August, featuring the uh, fewest cloudy days on average. Uh, still fairly sunny as we get into September and October. Of course, September and October can be beautiful around here, um, but then Reality strikes big time in November. A big jump in our cloudy days come November. Uh, and November through March, that's our cloudy season. We're one of the cloudiest parts of the country from uh, November through March. So it's nice to have these sunny days at this time of the year because uh, when we go into winter, we certainly pay the price. Uh, we've had some fair weather clouds mixed in with the sun from time to time today. These are high, serious ice crystal clouds. These are kind of blowing uh, off from uh, some showers and storms that have been rolling through parts of the upper Midwest and northern Great Lakes today. A dying band of showers and storms rolled through northern Michigan earlier on. So just the kind of serious blow off from, the, from this stuff has been the only thing obscuring the sun here in uh, the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys today. Severe thunderstorm watch out towards Minneapolis this evening where it promises to be a stormy one. And that's where the higher humidity is. Look at these dew points out in the Corn Belt, uh, lower 70s. Something interesting happens in this part of the country as we get into the heart of summer. Corn actually kind of sweats. And out here in the Corn Belt, we oftentimes see some ridiculously high dew points because of that corn sweat adding some moisture to the air. Uh, and if uh, you know any of these sensors are near uh, some large cornfields, you know, you can see dew points in the upper 70s to around 80 sometimes in the summer. Parts of Iowa, Missouri, western Illinois, southwest Wisconsin. Yuck, that makes for some hideous heat indices sometimes. Uh, we very rarely see something like that around here. Our dew points usually get no higher than the mid-70s. It's rare if we get a dew point above 75, thank goodness. Uh, dew points will be on the increase tomorrow, but still not that bad just yet. I think tomorrow will be a little more humid. We had dew points in the lower 50s today, probably upper 50s to around 60 tomorrow. Mix of sun and clouds. Overall, a decent looking day. It's going to turn hot, though. Upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. As we go into the weekend, if you have weekend plans, keep them. There's a real small chance of getting clipped by a shower or a storm north of I-80 uh, before Saturday is through. But it's, it's a 10 to 20% chance kind of a thing. Most of us won't see a drop of rain as we go through the first half of the weekend. There's a somewhat better chance of spotty showers and storms on Sunday, even though this front... Uh, stays well off to our north. There'll be a little disturbance aloft that might trigger some spotty showers and storms as we wrap up the weekend on Sunday. Longer range thoughts. I I've been talking about this over the last few days quite a bit, how we're, we're likely going to get into a pretty comfortable July pattern in the longer range after this hot spell this weekend and in, into early next week. I'll fast forward here to the middle of next week. Pretty good looking uh, trough trying to dig through the uh, Great Lakes and upper Midwest. Near the U.S.-Canadian border up towards International Falls, it could be a morning or two where it's close to 40 degrees uh, middle of next week. Uh, we won't see temperatures that cool here, but this uh, cooler air mass will swing on through. Now, I think this just sends us back to average, really. It's not like we're going to have highs 10 to 15 below average, but this will send us back to uh, kind of the air mass that we've had over the last couple of days. Seasonable, lower 80s. Uh, overnight temperatures, 50s to around 60, and the heat really recenters out here across the southwest, the southern plains. They're just going to bake in Vegas and LA and Palm Springs and, and Fresno and places like that down to Dallas as well. This uh, troughiness in the east will keep us away from that uh, high heat and high humidity in the longer range. Back here in the near term though, yeah, dew points will get uh, pretty nasty 
this weekend into early next week. So it's going to be pretty uncomfortable outside for a few days. And the 8 to 14 day outlook shows that general trend that the heat is centered out here. Uh, maybe a little cooler than average here. And I think we're going to see a lot of seasonable weather here as we go into, say, the period from the 18th and 19th through the 25th, 26th. Could be a lot hotter than this at this time of the year. So our energy bills will uh, be a little lower than they could be do that to a little more seasonable pattern in the longer range. That's it for the Thursday edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks as always for tuning in. I'll have a full update on your weekend forecast coming up tonight on 21 News at 11. Have a great Thursday night, everyone.